everyone, it is Jessica with Planet Southern and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And um, today's video is going to be all about May favorites. And I thought in the last video that I recorded, which if you didn't notice, same clothes and hair. Yeah, I just did the video like seconds ago. So just, you know, curiosity. I'm sure you were wondering. Um, Anyway, I thought about filming in a different location, and so today I'm going to do everything in a different spot, and I'm actually going to talk to you guys instead of you looking at these beautiful hands all the time. So, uh, if you want to know what my favorite products were, uh, planner related, and one thing that's not really planner related, but uh, it helps me with like productivity and stuff, then um, keep on watching. Okay, well if you watched my last video, you know that I am currently using three planners and that is all going to change in the month of July. Um, I'm going to do one book July this in the month of July. Um, if you haven't checked out um, Carrie Harling's video, and I know Romani does one, um, they do videos on one book July. And uh, actually I'll link a link to their channel. Uh, down below that way you can go and check out their latest videos I know they're going up sometime they're probably already out by the time this video is going up um, but basically one book July you do a complete overhaul of your entire planner system and you try to go into one notebook um, I'm gonna try my best to get see that's why I want to do one book July so I can do my best to get everything into one book I said all of that to say this, my three planners are my three favorite. And they're my first three favorites. So let me grab them and I will be right back. Okay, so if you watched my current planners video, you will notice that I had three planners. <laughs> I love these things. Um, it's like leather heaven over here. Uh, so I do have three planners. They all serve three different functions and they are all three of my favorites. This is a personal size Pemberley in the color um, Honey. No, Angel. Sorry, it's the color Angel um, from Chic Sparrow. It's a personal deluxe. If you want to see what's inside of this, I have a flip through um, that went up right before this video, the video right before this one. So um, you can see everything that's in here and how I plan. Um, this is a Chic Sparrow. Uh, this is an A6 size. If you want to see what is in this one, um, everything is in the current my current planners video. I'll link it down below. Um, but this one is an A6, and I use this as a shop planner, so it keeps track of all my videos, my schedules, my orders that need to go out, custom requests, um, stuff from my. Uh, VIP group on Facebook which I haven't been terribly active in lately and I need to get more active in that group but I've been so busy I'm sorry guys forgive me um but yeah that's what this one is and this one right here is the Outlander leather it is the Jitney I got it from a second chance sale um, for the vertical pockets you guys can see what's on the inside of this one in that same video um, but this one is my journal, has an art journal in it, and a couple of other notebooks. But mainly, this is for notes. So see, when I was talking about One Book July, this is the one notebook that I don't know that I can, can put in my One Book for July. Because this is just, like, meeting notes and such. Like, I don't really use it on a regular basis. Um, it's just my journal and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to go back through watch Carrie's video watch Romney's video and definitely decide before July I'm gonna try and do um, a few vlogs or you know something like that uh, in July so that you guys can kind of see my progress maybe I'll do a few update videos um, so yeah check back for that let me grab the next item 
So the next item that I have in my May's favorites is a tab punch. This is an amazing little gadget. You just put your paper in here and you punch it. Um, this is, it was so neat. So I can't show you guys what I made with it because um, they haven't launched in the store yet. I kind of wanted to do the month of June to test out on my own planner. Um, you might can figure it out if you've seen some pictures on my Instagram. But anyway, I made some tabs for my June planner and you know, it really come in handy. Uh, June has been kind of a, I won't say trying month, but it, it has very, it has been very tested. Um, my planning wise, I decided to cancel my subscription to Coco Daisy for the actual planner um, subscription. I still have my Dan the Live subscription and I did purchase the uh, planner add-on kit. You know, I did purchase at Reveal a few things. I wasn't able to get the actual planner kit, but you know, I'm okay with that. I was able to get the stickers. And it's been a very liberating experience because I got kind of stuck in a rut where I'm, I've been planning the exact same way, with the exact same things. The only real thing that's changed has been like the theme of the Coco Daisy kit and the cover on the outside. So I really wanted to expand my creativity. And I grabbed this off of Amazon and I was able to use like scraps of some papers make my own tabs and I didn't have to worry about not being able to get the Coco Daisy ones and it was just so much more creative because I got to design you know like taking it back to the old school days where I made my own stuff and my own kits and everything so it was really liberating but yep yeah, I highly recommend this tab punch if you don't have it um, I'll link it down below. I cannot find it in a store. You may can find it in your local Michaels or local like Joann's or Walmart Office Depot, but um, I could not find it at my local store. So I got mine off the of Amazon. So I'll put a link down below for you. So I'm gonna grab the next thing that's up. Did you guys think you go a whole video, not see all my pins? So I know I have a lot of pins. I know, and no, I don't use them all. So, June's favorite is gonna go way down. You're not gonna have this many pens in the month of June. I can promise. So, um, these are the pens. I can't remember what I had inked up in April. But these are the pens that I currently have inked up and um, that are my current pen favorites because I only ink up my pen favorites. You guys know this. They're all my favorites. But this is the, these are the ones that I'm using, um, or have been using in the month of May. So this is a Conklin Duragraph. Um, I think it's the ice, the color of the ice. And so pretty. Um, this one is inked up with Emerald of Shavor, but I didn't shake it so it doesn't have any of the particulates. This is a Lamy All Star in the color Pacific and it has the Pacific ink. And I just love this pen. Um, for those of you who aren't really familiar with fountain pens, um, the Lamy All Star is pretty much the same thing as the Lamy Safari. It's just the one step up. So the Lamy Safari is made of like a plastic material, plasticky feel material. And the Lamy All Star is made of aluminum. That's why it's called an All Star. It's A-L-S-T-A-R. Um, that's why it's because it's aluminum. And they come out with a pen every year. And this is the pen for um, this year. The Lamy All Star for this year. That is the Pacific. And uh-oh. My pen's untwisting. Um, while we are on the Lamy bandwagon. This is the Lamy Safari of the year. This is the Lamy Petrol. And this pen was so hard to get, guys. I mean, Goulet sold out the first go-around 
and I think it was like an hour or two. It might not even have been that long. They sell it out pretty quick. Um, so that one has the petrol in ink in it as well. Um, same on that Lamy bandwagon. This is the Lamy Studio, and it is inked up with Noodler's Black. And this is the one that I have been using um, off and on to a journal with because you can watercolor over um, Noodler's Black because it's um, bulletproof. This pen is my Jin Hao 750. And this is the one, I think it's Sandstorm, I think. I'll link it down below. Um, it's got the glitter reflex in it. I don't know if my camera is picking it up or not. But it has the uh, reflex in it. And this has Noodler's Lexington Gray for the same reasons as the Noodler's Black. Because you can watercolor over it or write over watercolor um, and it's not going to um, distort the or dilute the ink. It's going to dilute it, but it's not going to erase the ink. Try it. Next up on the list is Monte Verde pen. This is the Artiste pen. I'm pretty positive that it is um, discontinued by now. I will try and see if I can find a pen. Uh, this pen. On Amazon or um, you might have to check eBay if I can find it I'll put a link down below but I really like this pen you can't um sorry I'm filming in front of my door and people keep driving by and walking by I mean they're not like looking in but they're distracting um I don't know if you guys have ever seen this on my channel I'm pretty positive I've talked about it before but the feed on the pen is clear so whatever color ink that you're working with and you have in your pen like that's what color your feed is going to be and it's really super cool uh so the last four pens that i have here to talk about are all the same pen and the same brand um getting them all lined up here for you these are all Twisbees. They're all Diamond 580s. And um, three of them have medium sized nibs. The, all the AL versions do. And the other one is a stub nib. Um, this is the pink version. And the only difference between an AL and like the classic Diamond 580 is literally the guts is aluminum and it is um like powder coated i would say into a color see like that is the clear and the pink this is the lava and i'm so sorry to tell you guys but you literally unless you're on ebay uh cannot find these pins anymore um because they were limited edition. Once they ran out, they ran out. Um, and I do love these pens so much. So I, I do collect the Safaris, the All Stars, and the Twisbees. Um, you guys know that I have like almost, I have almost every single one. Definitely every single one since I have been into fountain pens. Um, but this is the Lava and this is the Pink. And they're just really pretty pens. This is the silver, the silver AL. I'm pretty positive is in their main pen line because you can still find it on places like Goulet and Pen Chalet. Goulet, Pen Chalet. Um, yeah, GoulettPens.com, PenChalet.com, um, Anderson Brother Pens, Vaness Pens, um, Jet Pens. Maybe I'm trying to think of all the places that you can find. Just be pens. Um, I'll link all the places that I know have good reputations and that I would either have or would buy from. Um, I'll link them down below. So let's get the next thing. So I know you guys are so sick of seeing my Kipling case. So I just grabbed the three things out of it that are in my favorites for this month. And the very first one are these Fiskars um, scissors. 
and they are the Teresa Collins edition. I got these at Michael's and they're super neat. The black um, plated, um, I think they're ceramic um, blades, actually helps for like washing and stuff to not stick or anything with glue to not stick to your blades. So these have definitely been in my favorites. Um, no surprise here, the Prima Planner, I think it's the, yeah, the Planner Glue Pen. So these hit it so big. <laughs> I first heard about them from Coco Daisy. We got one in our Coco Daisy kit a couple months ago and I went totally ham over these planner glue pens. Me and a few other girls in the planner group, the Charleston planner group, they all went crazy over these pens, especially um, Erica. And I'm um, pretty sure Holly, Julia, and Jamie also got some. Um, I know Jamie did and Erica because they're subscribers to Coco Daisy also. But I say that to say this, I went and purchased three more of these pens off of an Etsy store. Um, one for, or two for me, one for one of the girls who wanted another backup pen. And I found these in Hobby Lobby where the Happy Planner and um, like the new Reset Girl stuff is. They have a three pack of these and I think they're $4.99 and you don't have to order them off Etsy anymore. <sighs> you can find them. Go get them. Go get these Prima pens. It's going to change your planning life. I promise you. Tabs, putting on tabs in your planner, not a problem. You want to glue down some vellum, not a problem. Um, you want to glue down some crazy post-it note, not a problem problem with these prima planner pens cannot say the planner glue pen i'm gonna link one that um, i found it's either on etsy or on amazon but if you're near a hobby lobby go pick up a three pack totally worth every dime so my last favorite from my kipling bag is this right here this is a sticker book that i got in the planner society kit in the month of april it is a snap here and then i have it filled with all of the stickers that i use um on the daily these are all my stickers all my icons that i use and then i made these pockets i saw a youtuber uh, making these pockets so I tried it out um, I just took paper and I put the paper together um, with an, the glue pen used that Prima glue pen and then I took some um, of the removable adhesive the yellow one from Hobby Lobby and made a folder so now it holds the rest of my stickers but i took it out so you could see it it's just some leftover i think that's coco daisy scrapbook paper um that i got early in the end of june in the end of may it's from the june kit um anyway so i made one for the front and for the back and now i don't have to try and carry my entire Kipling case with me if I want to, you know, plan on the go or just want something to throw in my planner bag. I can just grab this and it has all of the stickers um, that I may need for on the go planning. So I really like this. Unfortunately, I don't think you can purchase this from the Planner Society because it was in a Planner Society kit. But I'm pretty sure that you can find something similar at maybe Target or Office Depot or something like that. So the last thing that made it into my May Favorites video is something that I have been into for about um, overall, not with this one brand, but overall over the past year and a half. I've been venturing into essential oils. This is not a planner related item, but I 
thought I would include it in my May's favorites just because if something that helps me and something that um, I like and use on a daily basis, if we have the same common interest, it may be something that can help you. Um, I am very much loving essential oils right now. A little bit of my essential oil story uh, for those of you that are even interested in listening. If not, you can just click that like and subscribe. <laughs> no, if you really don't want to hear it, you, you know, you can cut it off because this is going to be the last thing that I talk about. Um, but a, a little bit of my backstory with essential oils. Um, I really wanted to go all natural. I completely went um, all natural with my cleaning products back in 2010. Lord have mercy that is going in the bloopers. Oh Lord y'all, my dog. My neighbors are outside. So I got into essential oils a little over a year and a half ago. Um, I had been doing research on them for a long time. Um, and earlier this year, or maybe the end of last year, I really um, jumped on the bandwagon and have started supplementing everyday things for oils. And um, I'm not going to go into depth about what each oil is for. Um, a brand, pick a brand that you like, pick a brand you can stand behind, pick a brand that you feel is good for you and your family. For me, uh, that brand is Young Living. And Young Living Oils, I use them every day. They are diffusing in my house at all times. And different blends can do different things. I do um, believe in using them as dietary supplements and as medicine. Um, I use the uh, lemon, peppermint, and lavender on a daily basis. Um, it has completely... Um, taken away the need for allergy medicine for me. Um, I haven't actually had to take my allergy medicine since February of this year. So that has been very helpful and money saving for me and my family. Um, my husband has even got into oils and he will ask for them now. Um, I also, um, have ones that I clean with and if you want to know more about Young Living uh, comment down below if you would like to see more videos about you know how I use them in everyday life or you know something like that um, I do post um, a little bit on YouTube I mean on Instagram uh, pictures of some stuff that I'm using every day I know it's not planner related but if I really need um, I need oils Every day, it, they they add genuine um, genuine um, aid, and they supplement things, and uh, really really benefit me and my family a lot. Um, anyway, so I decided to pick the company Young Living, and I am a Young Living um, consultant, independent distributor, whatever you want to say. I um I work with Young Living and this month the whole month of May I have been using these four oils in my diffuser like non-stop. In fact, uh last month I had to order a bottle of uh lemon. Oh snap, because sorry butterfingers um i had to order a whole bottle of lemon again because i was getting so so far down into the bottom because i use lemon every day uh but these four oils right here uh lime lemon uh grapefruit and orange i have been diffusing these like redonkulously um i do three drops of lime lemon and orange and then two drops of uh, grapefruit in my diffusers in my living room and at my desk and it's just a very uplifting very springy um refreshing smell and my husband and everyone loves it and of course you get the amazing benefits of essential oils just by diffusing them every day in your house 
All right, well, thank you guys so much. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up and a like if you did. Um, leave comments down below if there is something that you really want to see, and I will try and get that up for you. I do have a bunch of videos scheduled throughout the year uh, for the rest of this year, but um, I will do my best to do a video and add it in for you guys um, and you know, as soon as I can. So thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.